Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating bounds of a number rounded to a given number of significant figures. We have this problem here. A number is rounded to 27,000 to two significant figures. Determine the lower and upper bound. Now in previous videos we saw a technique where we could add or subtract half the accuracy where in this case the accuracy is to the nearest two significant figures to the original number and that would give us the lower and upper bound. So let me write that down. Defined bounds, we add or subtract half the accuracy. And we also saw in those videos why this works. So if the accuracy is two significant figures, we would take the first two digits of this number when we're rounding it to two significant figures. So if we look at the last digit of what we underlined, that's the thousands digit. So when we round to two significant figures in this case, we're rounding to the nearest a thousand, aren't we? So we take that accuracy of the nearest a thousand and we halve it. So divide by two, that gives us 500. And then we're gonna add or subtract half that accuracy, the 500, to that original number. So the lower bound, or LB for short, is going to be 27,000 minus the 500 and that's going to be 26,500 and if we want to find the upper bound we do the original number the 27,000 and we add half the accuracy so 500 and that gives us 27,500 so that means that this is the lowest number that we could have originally had that would have rounded to 27,000. And indeed, when we round this to two significant figures, we look at the first two digits, we look at the next digit, is that five above? Yes, it is, so that goes up to seven, so we'd have 27,000. But if we had any less than this, for example, we had 26,499, that to the nearest thousand would be 26,000, which is not 27,000, so that would be too low. So indeed, this is the smallest number we could have had that would have rounded to 27,000, so that is the lower bound, as we call it.